You should know by now what's great about engineers. They solve problems. All kinds of problems. I know when we think of engineers, we think of big problems like crossing gorges, but consider things we use every day to solve little problems. You probably remember that one of the steps of the engineering process is testing proposed solutions. And engineers always approach testing with a plan. So let's check it out and see what steps engineers take to test solutions. Take it away, slingshot catbot. A few episodes ago, Catbot helped us play a game in which our problem was to try to knock down a big pile of fluffy marshmallows. We decided that we could change one of two variables to accomplish this goal, either how hard we pulled on the slingshot or the angle of the slingshot. So we started by making our best guess at both variables and missed the marshmallows completely. The angle and how hard we pulled on the slingshot were the variables that made up our first trial. When we missed the pile of marshmallows, we needed a new plan, so we decided to change the angle of the slingshot, and we also made sure we didn't change how hard we pulled on the slingshot. We said that we should only change one variable at a time, otherwise we wouldn't be able to tell why our solution worked or didn't work. Although we didn't know it then, this is called isolating a variable. We're choosing one variable and giving it a chance to be in the spotlight. We choose it and it alone to change between trials. So we chose a new angle and started the next trial. And this trial was successful. Down went the pile of fluffy marshmallows. Officially, we can now say that we met the criteria of a successful test. Criteria are rules that are used to judge something. In this case, our criteria for success were that we A, knocked over every single marshmallow, and B, did it all in one shot. Let's see if we can name those things in another game. I mean, an investigation. Hmm. Catbot, you get to be the cheering section on this one. Little Sabrina? You're up. In this game, we're going bowling. We'll say that the criteria for success are A, knocking down the pins, and B, doing it all in one turn. That is, getting a strike. Now, what are some of the variables we could change? Well, we can change how hard we throw the ball, and the angle that we throw it, and the mass of the ball itself, just to name a few. So the next step is to isolate one variable to change between trials. So, how do we go about doing that? Let's say we choose the angle at which we throw the ball. To isolate this variable, we have to make sure that all of the other possible variables stay the exact same. How can we make sure that the mass of the ball is the same? That one's easy. We'll just use the same ball every time. Bam, done. How about making sure that we keep the speed of the ball the same? Well, that's harder. I could just do my best to throw it down the lane the exact same way every time. Catbot, you measure the speed, okay? My first throw was about 24 kilometers per hour. Not too shabby. Let me try again. Hmm, my second throw was only at about 22 kilometers per hour. Maybe third time's the charm. Yikes, that one was 21 kilometers per hour, and my arm's getting tired. Although my three values were close, they're not the same, and that means that another variable, the speed of the ball, would change during every trial. But we want our isolated variable to be the angle the ball rolls down the lane. So how else can we keep the speed the same? What if I had a few friends come along? If I had some help, my arm wouldn't get as tired. But then that would introduce some other variables. My friends are all really different, which is awesome, but not so good when it comes to trying to keep a variable constant. Because my friends are different heights and have different skills, it's not very likely that they'll roll the ball the exact same speed as I do. So that idea's out. I know, to help us out, we'll use a ball ramp. All I have to do is put the same ball on the ramp each time and let gravity do the work. Variable isolation accomplished. So engineers set criteria, or rules, when they're deciding if a solution to a problem is successful. And to really know if a solution meets these criteria, they have to isolate or choose only one variable. Next time we'll see how they change that variable, and only that variable, between trials to test the solution thoroughly. If the solution meets the criteria, it's possibly on the path to being a huge success.